Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. Virginia Tech football is officially a dumpster fire. The Hokies suffered their worst home loss in 45 years, certainly the worst loss at home in the 21st century, going down to Duke by a 45 to 10 margin in Lane Stadium. Friday night, a night to forget, and it shows how far this program has fallen. There are so many issues that plague the Hokie football program right now, and so many of them are rooted with the head coach, Justin Fuente. Made a horrible decision to start Ryan Willis. I have said so many times, time after time, he is finished, he is done. Ryan Willis is a garbage quarterback, and he is not going to get any better. He's a senior. This is what you get. You get failure. You get horrible decisions. You get interceptions. And you just get nothing but liability and frustration with Ryan Willis. It doesn't matter how unprepared Quincy Patterson and Hendon Hooker are. The only way to get them ready for next season is to let them play right now. Throw them into the fire, see what they can do, because it cannot get any worse than Ryan Willis. And even if it does, at least there's the understanding that they're going to be around, that they're going to develop, unlike Ryan Willis. It reflects very poorly on Justin Fuente, the so-called quarterback guru who recruited the highly touted Hendon Hooker and Quincy Patterson, and he can't get either one of them ready to take the field. But at this point, it's time to hold Fuente accountable, and it's time to play those kids. Of course, this game took an irrevocable turn for the worse. Once, Kishon King fumbled that football, that botched handoff. The Hokies never really recovered from that. But what really hurts the most about this game was not just the scoreline of the loss or the loss itself. It was how it happened. The players, especially on defense, they gave up, they rolled over, and they quit. They let Duke have their way with them. They did whatever they wanted. They got gutted by a Duke quarterback who couldn't throw the football. David Cutcliffe is a brilliant football coach, and he did everything he could to humiliate Virginia Tech. Going forward on fourth down with the game already won. Faking punts. Ruthless. But it's what Virginia Tech deserves after what they've, the Hokies have done uh, to Duke over the years. This might feel like rock bottom, but it's only going to get worse because at this point in time, Virginia Tech cannot afford to fire Justin Fuente. His buyout is $15 million. Where's that money going to come from? If he resigns, he's owed $5 million. It makes no sense for him to resign. Might as well get fired, make $10 million more million, right? I would love to see Fuente have the decency to walk away from that money, knowing that at this point, he is a failure. This program has done nothing but go backwards under his leadership. From 10 wins, to 8 wins, to 6 wins, to now kissing the bowl streak goodbye. Losing the UVA is all but inevitable. And a winless ACC campaign this year. A very realistic scenario. This is the season from hell. And all I can ask is that Ryan Willis never, ever plays quarterback for Virginia Tech ever again. And while you're at it, Fuente, fire Brad Cornelson. His play calling could not be any more predictable, and changes have to be made right now. Thank you so much for tuning in, and please subscribe to my channel.